Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So it's gonna be a little bit echoey just for a little bit while I'm in my bathroom, but you guys, <laughs> So I have not been flying a bunch this month. I actually plan to fly a lot more than I have, but my rheumatoid arthritis has not been kind to me and I was finally gonna fly today and I have to because there's a hard 40 with my airline, meaning that we have to fly 40 in-flight hours in the month. And right now I'm only at like 20. So I have to work tonight and you guys, I woke up and my wrist, is like inflamed. Hopefully it's already gone down a little bit, but I don't know if you guys can see it, if the camera's gonna like pick it up. It hurt so bad this morning. And so I started to panic. It's not like bending <laughs> completely this morning. I'm telling you, it was, it was worse this morning, but I started like taking ibuprofen. My doctor's the office, like my rheumatologist is closed. So I can't go get a steroid shot. I mean, it's not the, the worst it's ever been, but it's not, it's not great. So I've been trying to ice it. I've been trying to keep it in a splint. I've been trying to rest today. And originally I was actually supposed to work the earlier London flight, but then I decided to put in a trade request for the very last London, the one that leaves, or not leaves, it signs in at, at 9.44, so it doesn't leave till like 11 something tonight, um, just so I would have a little bit more time to try to get the swelling to go down. And luckily enough, somebody did trade me, but I do um, really appreciate you guys still hanging out. I've been doing a lot more um, home vlogs and stuff, a lot more shopping vlogs. <laughs> I should be uh, just resting and relaxing at home. I'm also gonna be using um, a new hair tool. It's from T3 today. I don't know how to turn it on. Apparently this is supposed to be like my beach waver. So I see a little thing that goes left and right and then it has a bigger clasp. Do I get toothpaste on myself? <laughs> I just woke up you guys from a nap because like I said, I was like trying to rest and relax So I spray tanned earlier. I actually like showered last night and then I used my Osea and I also want to thank Osea for sponsoring today's video because their stuff is so nice Which I talked about this a few videos back. I don't know if you guys remember but I started using this stuff If you've never heard of Osea, they are a clean vegan cruelty-free seaweed based skin and body care brand and so I use the anti-aging body balm. I love to put this like all over my chest and my neck. This stuff is great for firming hydration for silky skin. And then I've also been using um, their body butter and I love this stuff. This stuff is like a beast. Like I don't know if y'all see it. It is a huge container and it goes on like thick. It's like, it's like butter, it's like body butter. Um, but this stuff is really, really good. It kind of has like a very mild citrusy smell. And Osea's body butter is clinically proven to hydrate for 72 hours and smooth the look of crepey skin. But my favorite thing from them is actually their body oil. This stuff, ooh, you guys. I like to put it in my hands and then like rub my hands together and like really like warm it up so the oil's like nice and warm. And then I just lather in it. It just feels so good. And the algae body oil is clinically proven to instantly improve the look of skin elasticity, giving you a smoothing and glow boosting look. And if you're not sure what to get your loved ones this holiday season, you need to check out Osea's bestseller minis collection, which is a limited edition six piece set of face and body bestsellers all wrapped up for the holidays. It's their most loved products for the ones you love the most. And it's perfect for the travel lovers in your life. So it's originally valued at $110, but you'll get a 29% off savings for $78. And it includes their ocean cleanser, their hyaluronic sea serum, their atmospheric protection cream, their salts of the earth body scrub, their algae body oil, and their anti-aging body balm. And for a limited time, you can get 10% off with my code CATNESBIT, so now's the time to get ahead of your holiday shopping. So I just got to the airport, so Chip was actually planning on getting me dinner um, before I had to leave, but then traffic was crazy, so I met him. <laughs> I met him at Chick-fil-A. He like got in line and got me salad, and then I just met him to pick it up. But I also spoke with him a little bit, because I was doing a, a bit more research, 
and I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try an anti-inflammatory diet and see if that helps. And I was doing more research and apparently like an anti-inflammatory diet is very, very similar to like a Mediterranean diet, except it like focuses a bit more on like your omega fatty acids or your omega fatty, omega, omega-3 fatty acids. Um, it focuses more on, on like healthy fats as well as like dark fruits, like cherries, berries, and also leafy greens. If you guys want me to incorporate a little bit of that more into my vlogs, just like let me know. I'll show you like what I'm eating or what I'm doing, but I probably won't make content specifically designated to that, I'll be honest. But if y'all wanna see a little bit more of it, um, just let me know. But anyways, let's go ahead and get our stuff out and go ahead to the airport because we have to go through regular security because crew security is already closed. off to a bad start. I was like digging in my suitcase, trying to get like my outfit put together and figure out what I'm gonna wear because it's like really chilly outside. It's also very clearly about to rain. So I was like trying to piece together an outfit. And then I was like, okay, I think this is gonna be good. And then I went to get my shoes. <laughs> And once again, I don't have shoes. I didn't pack shoes. They were literally in my kitchen and I meant to grab them and I didn't. And now I don't have shoes. <laughs> we're already off to a bad start and I, oh, why is this me? And you know, it's so sad because this is not the first time I've done it. It's not even the second time I've done it. The only shoes I have with me are my um, flight attendant heels and my in-flight plats. That is it. And I brought like leggings and like parachute pants, like nothing that's gonna go with these. So I guess the new game plan is, is that I'm gonna get dressed and go run over to H&M and see if I can find a pair of sneakers and then I'll come back and like freshen up, re-fix re everything. I'm probably just gonna keep what's going on, going on. I'll probably just layer, <laughs> just layer some stuff on top, just cake it on up. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do today, but I forgot to tell you guys that Matt was actually working the flight with me. So he was the number two and I was position three. So we both ended up working in main cabin. It was like a super easy, breezy, beautiful flight. So this is our temporary, <laughs> our temporary fit check. <laughs> it's definitely, it's not the worst thing I've worn. If, if, if we're being honest, I've, I've, I've come out in some stranger fits in this but also these pants delectable I got them on Amazon and when styled maybe a little bit better than flats and also apologies for the carpet I don't know what happened in here and I don't think I want to know so uh this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be our fit uh until I can get something different so while I'm in there I need to like stay focused I'm looking for sneakers and try um not to get <laughs> not to get much much more than that but anyways <laughs> let's let's uh tiptoe up out of here I <laughs> I may have gone ooh, a little overboard. This bag is hefty. I got distracted. Let me just, let's just do ooh, one of these. Okay, so I did get two pairs of shoes. I think they're both the wrong size, but they had nothing in my size. So I got these, these are cute. I like the little platform. And then I got some boots like this. So we're gonna have to see if either of these fit. These were a little bit dirty, but honestly like beggars can't be choosers. I needed to get something. So that's what we grabbed. I think this is where most of the weight is coming from. But also I love H&M's sweats. They make my favorite, favorite sweats. And I saw this nice mauve color. Hopefully the camera picks it up. It definitely has like a purpley hue. It's not just a tan with a zipper. And then I also grabbed this, which I love this one. Um, like this oversized Nirvana sweatshirt. And then it has the back. And then I also picked up these. I forgot I even picked these up. So they're cargo pants, but they have the little jawstring at the bottom. So you can either wear these as a wide leg pant or closer to <laughs> closer to the beautiful thing I have on right now. And then lastly, I grabbed another sweat set. 
I also love this one. These are just like really cool wintry comfort colors. So it's kind of like a grayish green tone. So I picked that up as well as a hoodie to go to go along with it. So now I've got options as to what to wear today. So here's a little uh, fit check. I might just wear this and then if it gets like too crazy, I'll take it off. But the boots are, are definitely a size too big, but honestly, I don't even care. They're kind of a whole vibe and at least in the winter time, I don't know if you guys have been around on my channel since uh, last winter, but your girl's known for doubling up some socks because I freeze so easily. I am like, I'm that person I'm always cold. I threw on this scarf, but I think this might be like the sporty Fit. I think we're gonna go for like a little bit of a, like more of a sporty style vibe. Ooh, I got nervous there for a minute. I didn't think that was gonna turn on. Now that we've got the shoes situation dealt with, we gotta deal with everything else. How do y'all think my hair held up? I kind of feel like for not having it on like the highest heat setting, also it being super humid outside and Chip using the rest of my hairspray, you know, all things considered, I, I think it actually did, did pretty, pretty good because my hair usually can't, can't survive humidity regardless. Also, you guys, look at my nail. <laughs> I guess I should have lowered my expectations because these nails are from Primark. <laughs> are from Primark. But Allie was right. The last London I worked when I used those Glamnetic nails, I did not have a single nail break. And usually when I have nails that long, them not breaking is like, it's just, I, I, I expect when they're that long that they're going to break, but not a single one broke. And then I started using the glue um, on my other sets of nails to see, you know, is Glamnetic, is it the glue that's really where it's at? Or is it also the quality of the nail? And what I'm noticing is their glue is the best glue I've, I've used today. I definitely think their glue is amazing. You just have to make sure you're prepping your nail correctly and then using a generous amount of it. But with that being said, I do think the nail makes a difference. I do think their nails are also um, really good because I also used their glue on um, some Kiss nails and the, the nail didn't pop off, but it definitely bent whenever I was like trying to do something. And even this Primark one, like I don't know if you guys are gonna see it, but there's like a line straight through it. I feel like this is definitely getting hotter because I'm like seeing smoke and I did not really see smoke. How do I turn this? I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I'm turning it, okay, here we go. And it does say it's supposed to be dual voltage and it'll just adapt to wherever you're at. But I just, I personally don't like when I can see my hair just smoking in the wind. Also, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you're missing out. Like, what are you even doing with your life? <clears throat> Why do I sound like that all of a sudden? <clears throat> On Instagram, I also posted that I just bought a new camera. I spent a very pretty penny to get the Sony Alpha 7C, I believe is, is what it's called. And I'm so excited to use it, but there, I have noticed a difference that um, it is a bigger camera from, from the one you guys are on right now, which is my Sony ZV-1. But I do think with my wrist being the way it is right now, I really did not want to travel with it and also just have the extra weight in my hand because a lot of times I vlog with my left hand. But I mostly bought it for just like my at-home content and like my sit-down content because I've been having such a problem with this Sony ZV-1 overheating, the battery dying, and then the lens, because this one, you can't attach a lens, you can't change the lens and the the crop frame on this one is crazy cropped in um, and the stabilization is terrible so in order to have the stabilization to the highest setting where you guys aren't doing like this the whole video it crops it in even further which is something I hate about this camera which if you're not even interested in cameras I'm so sorry to be ner nerding out with you guys right now so I bought a lens that just attaches by like a little sticker that Allie had recommended to me and honestly it's great I mean there's so much more stuff in the frame I had to film 
one of my latest videos, this video, I think it's my Target haul video. Whatever this video is right here, I had to film it and take the lens off and cropped in um, because I couldn't get it to stick anymore and it was just exhausting and that's the same thing like Allie said. It's like she just hates how much like the lens falls off and, and won't stay put. So anyways, I was like telling Chip and so Chip decided to silicone the lens to the camera because I, I basically always use the lens just because I think it looks a million and one times better having the wide angle lens on it. So I guess we're gonna see if this will hold up because then I can use this camera more with vlogging and the other camera more with sit down or I can actually try to bring both if it's not like a crazy busy trip and I can start setting them up from different angles and like maybe getting like some better shots and getting you all some better quality. Because like, let's not lie, let's be honest with ourselves here. Like I love you guys, you guys obviously love me or you're hate watching me, which regardless, it's fine. I appreciate you being here, but I don't have like the best editing. Like I have decent editing, but I wouldn't say like I'm, 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 I'm not doing like Casey Neistat stuff. Like I, I rely heavily on like my really weird personality. Okay. Okay, so what do you guys think? How do you think, how do you think it did? I think it's pretty good. I think the humidity is gonna just not keep it this way, but that's just any hair thing I, I use. Ooh. I'm also finishing up my Celsius. Is it kind of dark in here? The lighting is like, let's see. I don't know if that's gonna help or not. I don't know if that made it better or worse. The lighting's just poo poo in here. Mm. Oh my God, speaking of poo poo. So I was talking to some of the crew. I've actually flown with, with mass majority of this crew at least once before, which is really cool when you get to see some of the same faces, especially when like you really adore people. Like one of the, one of the ones on this flight, she is just so incredibly sweet and she calls me Kit Kat. She calls me Kitty Cat and she cracks me up. Her name is Julie. But um, anyways, one of the ladies had said that like something somebody needs to post, but I, she's never really seen it much of anywhere, but somebody needs to say it. It's how to properly poop in an airplane. And I started laughing. I started laughing so hard because there is proper procedure on how you should poop on an airplane. There's proper pooping procedures. We all know nobody wants to be going number two on the, on the airplane, but when you need to poo poo, you need to poo poo. Before I spill all the hot spicy secrets, um, I'm gonna go wet my, my sponge really fast. Okay, we are back. You guys, I'm also gonna be using the kimchi um, concealer. I've been getting so many compliments about um, my makeup and just my under eyes and how awake and bright because this thing is brightening. I use the shade Ivory. This stuff just makes you, it makes you look and feel alive. When duty calls, I honestly need to stop laughing and like grow up, but I'm childish. So, so here we are. When you have to poo poo on the plane, what you're going to do is you are going to go into the bathroom and you are going to get some toilet paper and you're going to build yourself like a nest in the toilet and you're gonna like build your little nest. Now, if you wanna go the extra mile, I highly recommend you do. I generally carry it. I think London's one of the only places I don't carry it. Usually it's for passengers who'd be stinking up the lab, so we don't have to use like the coffee bags in there, which is like a little flight attendant secret that like when people be, be stinking some stuff up, we'll go sneak some coffee bags and stuff in there to kind of deal with some smells if we don't have uh, lavatory spray. But a lot of times I do travel with poopery, especially when I'm doing like domestic travel. So if you if you go the extra mile, you take your poopery and you're gonna go ahead and spray in there because you have to understand that there's no like sitting water in an airplane toilet. It like suctions in there. So what happens is a lot of times when people poop, they'll they'll poop in there and then it's like skid mark central and it'll this is not a glamorous conversation, but like, let me just hit you with the realness because that makes the smell in the things that remain in the toilet. So that's why you're gonna build yourself a little nest. You don't need to go haywire, but build enough of a nest that when you have to like take the kids to the playground, it's gonna, they're gonna go right in the sandbox, you know, and they're gonna be nice and padded. So that way, when you go push the button, it's gonna take all of it down and not leave a, a, like a whole mud trail behind, which also leaves smells and things. So that is definitely the proper way to poop in a toilet. If any of my flight attendants think that there's also another way or something, please share it down below. If I see something that's like really of interest, I'll try to pin the comment so we can just spread awareness. Another thing while I got you here, another fun fact that I, I really feel like I wanna make like a real or a short about this because I don't think enough people talk about it and everybody's intentions are really good, but it does make it more complicated for flight attendants is when 
you are sitting in first class or business class and you're eating meals or a premium economy and you get like meals, they'll give you a meal tray. And when we have to take it out of the cart, you take it out of the cart and you have like the main entree, you have like the two side dishes, you'll have like a, a bread dish and then all the extras and stuff on the thing. Well, a lot of people after they eat, they'll do like what they do in a restaurant and they stack the dishes on top of each other. And they think they're being helpful to like, put stuff away because it's it's normally normal etiquette common courtesy to kind of snack everything so it makes it easy for your server to come like take your stuff and and move it but not on an airplane when you stack things too high because everything goes into the cart in like little things there's not much room between one to the other they all have to line up in there perfectly so when you start stacking your dishes or like throwing stuff like your napkin or bunching a bunch of stuff on top and building this whole thing we can't put it back in there like that so what we end up to do is take your thing and then sit there and start like putting all the trays and all the things and separating everything back out to look more like how we handed it to you um, because it otherwise it won't sit in the cart like that and I know everybody's intentions are good like I'm never mad when somebody does it because I know they just mean well pro tip is give me your tray the way you found it. It'll just make my life 10 times easier. Also, another thing I see some people doing, which I guess it makes sense like when you're handing trash just because it can hand you more at one time, but a lot of times I see people putting the can into the plastic cups and like they'll give it to you like that, which is fine, but you, we always like recycle the cans and stuff versus like the plastic cups, especially on international. We'll even pull those to the side and stack them so that way you can fit more in the trash bin because if you just throw the plastic cups in there like, like you would with the rest of the trash, all the trash won't fit in there. When you're a flight attendant, you have to think so smart because you know, they don't even have trash cans for us. Like we have to build trash cans after we do meal service and stuff. Not, not always like domestic, you'll have like trash cans and stuff. And you have to be really smart because there's not just like empty space on an airplane. Like basically everything is full of stuff to accommodate the passengers, which Auckland is coming back. I think it's coming back like towards the end of this month. That's the one that a lot of flight attendants actually don't like to work. It is a long old flight, but there's three full meal services, like full hot meal services. I haven't done it yet because the only time that I've seen it drop has been like the back galley position. I've, I've said this time and time again that the galley sets the tone for the flight. They really set the pace of everything. So it's like one of those positions that you really need to come in knowing what you're doing, especially when you're working a flight like Auckland because they have such issues with the trash and where to put trash and stuff because there's so many meal services. So you have to be so smart when you're doing stuff like that. So I don't pick that position up because I just like, I don't want to be that person to the crew that would pick it up and then not know what they're doing and make like my job everybody else's problem. Like I feel like that's one of the ones that you'll definitely want to work like an aisle position and like get used to like what the service looks like and what to do before you pick up a galley. But also like with my RA, I try to, I, I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a huge galley person. Like galley used to be my absolute favorite like main cabin galley used to be my absolute favorite on the airbus 330 but like nowadays it's not for me now i just would rather work the aisle i'd rather like talk to my passengers everybody has has their thing that, that they like and i love that everybody likes different stuff it, it makes it it makes it nice like i don't care to work the lead flight attendant position domestically but i'm happy that other people really enjoy that position. But anyways, there's some um, interesting little flight attendant tips and little secrets that I guess nobody's really, really talking about you guys. I'm going to finish getting ready and then I guess we're gonna find something to get into today. So um, my apologies for everything behind me, the shoes and all this stuff and also how I look, but um, the last few days have been absolutely chaotic and stressful and just, just a lot. Um, I did not intend to have the video kind of end here. I had no intention of making this like a, a part one and part two. But um, basically after I got back from this London trip, the next day, Chip's family was flying in from Germany and there was a medical emergency on the plane. So the last like few days we've been spending in the emergency room. So I haven't really had a chance to kind of like sit down and get this video finished editing and, and life has just uh, got, got the better of me um, lately. So I just, I haven't had time to do it. So I know 
that it's not ideal to kind of like break this right right in the middle but i am gonna have like a part one and part two and like i don't want to leave you guys with like cliffhangers or something like that like i'm, I'm not trying to be like a facebook post where i'm like send thoughts and prayers but but i don't, don't want to tell you what the thoughts and prayers are like i, I, don't, I don't know that's just not my thing so in the next video at the end kind of like in sequential order i'll like update you guys about like how the last few days have been going since this trip ended and like what's been going on but for now i want to at least give you something some kind of content to go up on on my channel so i'm gonna just end it here and then on the next video we'll we'll catch back up and, and i'll chat with you guys a little bit more on um some of the stuff going on so hopefully you can forgive me for all of this but yeah i just i wanted to give you something i, I wanted to at least post something for y'all so anyways if you guys did enjoy this video if you wouldn't mind giving it a big old thumbs up and pressing that subscribe button and i will see you next time bye